The Music with Chris Barrow on BBC Radio Lincolnshire. Yes, we're going to be speaking now to a musician in Stamford who's looking to raise money for charity through the power of music. It's the best way to do it, surely. This is Pete Morton. We're going to hear some music shortly, but first, let's catch up with Pete. Hello, Pete. Hello there. How are you doing? Really good. How's it going there? Yeah, good. Nice to have a bit of a chat with you. Um, Now, we are going to talk music, and I want to talk about um, exactly how you're going to go about raising money for charity. But just tell us about yourself and your music, for starters. What sort of thing do you enjoy playing? Okay, uh, well, um, I came to some kind of notoriety, I would guess, through mm. playing with Threshold. So I was with that band for 10 years. Uh, Threshold are sort of um, veteran prog rock bands. They've been around yeah. a long time. I was with them for 10 years, so I kind of cut my touring teeth with them. Yeah. I also recorded three albums with them as well. So we did a lot of touring, a lot of recording. Um, but running alongside that, I've had my own project called My Soliloquy, mm. which I've had for many years. Um, it kind of took a bit of a sabbatical while I was in Threshold, but I left Threshold last year yeah. uh, to pursue my own band in a much more fuller capacity. Uh, and to that end, I released a new studio album late last year. Brilliant. So, yeah. And so My Soliloquy is the name of the solo project. And just roughly, how long has that been going? I know you mentioned you did it sort of alongside Threshold, but how long have you been, you know, even if it's taken a back seat, thinking about solo music? Oh gosh, uh, about 2002 was when it first started. So yeah. we we've done we just sort of did three EPs and then I've done two studio albums to date. So yeah, um, and I've done so many other musical things as well outside yeah. of special and my soliloquy. So I've been very busy, but I think now the time to focus a little bit more on on the thing that's all, always held my attention the most, which is of course my own music. Brilliant. Well, we are going to play some My Soliloquy very shortly. We're going to play Confluence, so stay tuned for that in just a few moments' time. But tell us about this um, thing that you're planning on doing for charity then. So what's the idea here? Oh, wow, yes. Well, um, the Born Free Foundation is an organisation I've been following, coincidentally, for 10 years. Yeah. I've been following them for a long time. Um, and as soon as I became aware of what they do and the work they, and the work they carry out throughout the world, I knew... 10 years ago that I wanted to write a song as a dedication to that. But as I've already mentioned, touring and making albums just kind of got in the way. I never found the space enough to do it. Uh, So I resolved quite clearly in January that this year was going to be the year that I would do it. Um, So to that end, I am booked um, in the studio uh, August 16th to the 17th of this year. There, it's there that I'll lay down the song that I've written for the Born Free Foundation, and it's and the song is simply called Born Free, so it's, so it's named after them as well. Um, and then, so that will be one revenue stream that I hope to raise money for the charity. So that single will go on sale in September 14th. Yeah. And then outside of that, I also love cycling. I've I've, I've always loved cycling. I I go on many many bike rides just by myself. But I thought, well, you know what? Why not actually? Um, tie it in with another love that I have, which is cycling and do a sponsored bike ride. So, um, <laughs> it's I a two pronged attack quite... here. <laughs> well, exactly. I mean, I haven't quite got a date set aside just yet, but it probably will be the first week of September. Yeah. And I plan to cycle 140 miles, uh, sponsored bike ride to raise money for that as well. So, hopefully, there'll be two revenue streams that will go to the foundation. What a brilliant idea. And you really are giving it your all here because, you know, as you've clearly said, it's not just writing the music and releasing it, but you're going to do the cycling as well. And it's, it yeah. is un- musicians do tend to not have a sporting background. And I know, you know, I think there's a few exceptions, of course. I mean, I love rugby and I play music and, you know, you do cycling as well. But do you find that, that when you're going on a bike ride, does it just clear your head? Does it give you that time to think, maybe? Oh, yes, that's very true. I mean, there's, there's been many a time where I've felt you know, stressed over a studio project or something or other, whatever's going on musically in my life. But I find that a good bike ride does generally tend to clear the head and sort of get me get me back to where I need to be so I'm in the right headspace to carry on. Yeah, I mean, I find it very therapeutic. It is always a, a very good idea. And, and sometimes you can get creative, but then the problem is it's very hard to write down something when you're on a, a bike. So it's uh... Well, that, well that, is, that is where the trusty dictaphone comes in. I'll never go anywhere <laughs> without it. <laughs> It's very good advice for aspiring musicians. Now, um, in terms of the work that Born Free do, you've hinted that you've, you've supported them for quite some time, but what is it specifically about the work that they do that, that drew you to them? Well, first and foremost, I mean, they, they, they are proactive on, on so many um, uh, points that they, first and, first and foremost, they tackle cruelty wherever they find it. So that could be in zoos that have, have animals in appalling conditions, 
they they and then tied along with that they'll also um preserve uh, um you know natural wildlife in africa and things where elephants are just being hunted to extinction obviously yeah. not recently we saw the last male white rhino die so that's, yeah. a, that's a species that's extinct which which is breaking my heart but you know the born free foundation have worked hard you know okay they may have not been too successful in that situation but they've always worked hard to try and limit the impact of humans on natural environments such as you know the plains of africa and things like that so you know, their work is far wide and far reaching and, and I've just touched on a few things there that they do. But honestly, they work tirelessly and of course, you know, Virginia McKenna, the one of the founding members of that, she's you know, she's worked tirelessly all her life for exactly that goal and you know, I've got I've got, I've got a, a must respect for people like that. I love yeah. it. So, yeah. Brilliant. <clears throat> so I've written down the dates here then. So August the sixteenth and seventeenth is when Born Free the track is being laid down. It's then set for release. On the 14th of September, there could be some kind of supporting bike ride around there, and we'll stay tuned for that one. <laughs> we'll oh, well, there definitely that. will be, yeah. yeah so fine. I haven't quite got the date yet. No, yeah, that's but... all right, that's fine. If people want to um, check out the progress of this, I imagine that they can find you online and things like that as well, Pete? Yes, they can. I, I've, actually got, uh, I've actually got a GoFundMe campaign running right now. So um, that is just, if, if anyone's aware of that fundraising yeah. platform, you can just go to gofundme.com forward slash born free campaign and if anybody wants to uh, support me in my endeavours then they can go there and donate some money if they don't mind. So that's good the thing to do and we'll, uh, when that track comes of course we'll have a, a copy of that and give it a spin that'd be rather nice so we'll look out yeah. for it later on this that year that'd be great, great. and uh, Pete uh, we're going to play My Soliloquy and uh, Confluence now as I said just uh, line this one up for us tell us what we're going to hear Okay, well, Confluence is off the new studio album Engines of Gravity I released that in September last year Confluence is the second single off that album, uh, and this is one of the ballads that is on there. So this is just a piano and voice track, and I've written it predominantly about relationships, you know, and, and uh, it's basically a metaphor for, you know, when two rivers meet, so it's a confluence of rivers, that's where the title comes from, when, when yeah. two rivers meet, they bring all their power and all their history and they collide, and, and, and my metaphor for that is that that can relate to any relationship that human beings have, whether it's friendship, parents, you know, lovers, whatever. So I think it's a, a nice metaphor for basically talking about that story between two people. Well, we'll hear it now. And Pete, thanks again for your time and we'll catch up soon. Brilliant. Thanks for your time. Appreciate that.
Okay.